na we all have our different skin types. That dapat alam mo yung skin type mo as a person if you are an oily skin, dry skin, normal or combination skin, acne prone ka ba, sensitive or um, irritated. Hi everyone. Sala. Okay, never mind. Okay. Hi everyone, I am Joshua Alvarez, 18, and I am a Filipino. So today, I will share ko po sa inyo yung acne story ko. So disclaimer lang po, I'm not a skin expert, I'm not a professional um, skin uh, master. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so, dis so disclaimer lang po, I'm not a professional um, skin expert. I'm not a dermatologist. All of these were based on my experience and based on my personal experience and um, what works for me might not work for you. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So, so my acne actually started when I was in grade 7. Nag grade 7 pa lang, meron na talaga akong mga pimples. And then, grade 8, grade 9, and 10, meron na rin. And nag-trigger siya nung grade 10, as in, dun lumala yung acne ko. Hindi lang siya basta naging pimples, naging acne lang siya. And you have to know your skin before diagnosing it and before... Um, finding the product that might work for you. So, in my case, um, just did self-treatment. Hindi ako nagpa-dermatologist kasi feeling ko mahal. And, koripot. Koripot. Hindi ako pa nagpa-dermatologist kasi hindi siya uso sa akin. And, Self-treatment na talaga siya, like exploring sa mga products na might work for me and did really trial and error and dun talaga ako nahirapan in finding the best product na mag-work sa skin ko. So, actually my skin um, way back nung, nung grade 6 kasi ako, itong miss lang yata to, um, pero I winish ko na magkaroon ng pimples kasi way back, yung brother ko, siya talaga yung nagkaroon ng madaming acne. And then, grade 6 ako, syempre clear skin, wala ka ng pimples or anything on your face, as in flawless. So, I I told myself, bakit hindi ako nagkaka-pimples? Bakit wala akong anything sa mukha? So, I wish na sana nagka-pimples ako magka pimple man lang and then what i did is yung eskinol nilagay ko sa cotton ball syempre and then nilagay ko siya sa face ko and then mga kinabukasan yata nagkaroon ako ng isang pimple and i was so happy like i don't know bakit ako masaya i was so happy na nagkaroon ako ng pimples and Grade 7, grade 8, habang tumatagal is hindi na ako naging masaya na dumami yung pimples ko. Dati isa lang yung gusto ko. Like, Maranasan ko lang na magkaroon ng pimple pero para dumami sila is iba ng usapan. I would like to address na iba yung sa regarding sa term na ginagamit. Iba yung pimple, breakout, at saka acne. So, when you say pimple, yun yung pa isa, isa dalawa, tatlo, apat. And then when you say breakout, is lumabas lang yung mga pimples mo out of nowhere, like menstrual cycle, if you have your mens for girls, is nagkaka-breakout mo sila, like lumalabas lang yung mga pimples nila, like if allergy ka sa isang pagkain, yun yung breakout. And then when you say acne, it is actually a skin um, disorder or skin disease or when you say acne is hindi na siya like karaniwang um, 
skin problem kasi ano na yun, it is based na sa sa how your body reacts, baka sa hormonal imbalance, genetics, and et cetera. So, wala mga address yun kasi um, I always hear different terms regarding sa ganyan. So, iba yung pimple, iba yung acne, at iba yung breakout. They have their own usage and they have their own um, they have their own definition. And I'm going to give you some tips din po and I'm going to Hindi pa share. I'm not ready to share my skincare yet kasi hindi pa siya ganun ka-establish. And right now, I'm still exploring and um, finding out the solid um, skincare na gumagana sa akin. So, I think I'm gonna do that on the other video na lang sooner or in the future. So, my acne actually started when... I was in high school, like a grade 7, is tinutubuan ako ng mga pimples. I'm going to attach here sa, mga, sa screen yung mga pictures ko. So, yun. So, lahat ng mga pictures na nakita yun, yun yung mga pinagdaanan ko when I was in high school. It was depressing, it was stressing, and it really affects, and it really affects your life holistically. Like in my case, um, my performance in school nag decrease and na affect one yung self esteem ko, my um, social life, how I deal with myself, and iba talaga yung impact kapag nagkaroon ka na ng acne. I think nasa genetics na din kasi because my father, si papa ko, and si mama, mer um, like meron din silang pimples. And I think na-acquire namin yon ng brother ko. And I think isang factor din yon kung bakit ako nagka-acne. Um, particularly dito sa chin area. And actually, disclaimer lang, um, doing this video, I'm not really um, makinis pa, as you can see. Sa camera siguro hindi nyo makita ba ito in person. Madami pa akong pimples, especially sa chin and dark spots. I still have a lot of imperfections and mga active pimples pa rin. Pero based on the pictures that you saw, mas nag-improve siya ngayon kaysa noon. Madami rin akong tinry. Like halos lahat na pwede niyong isipin, itry. Na-try ko na about my acne. And doing this video, I was actually inspired by the photo I saw in the Instagram. Um, I'm gonna attach pictures here, which really promotes normalizing people with acne. Na it doesn't make you less as a person, and it really, it really um, opens um, the minds of everyone. Uh, people who have acne are actually trying their best to get out. It's not their choice actually to be in the situation and never nilang ginusto na magka-acne and the fact that they are trying is actually courageous enough for them to be applauded and commended coming from um, that experience hindi siya madali and it's never an easy path to go through my acne was actually very severe um, especially sa chin it was um, hormonal imbalance I don't really know the really exact meaning of the hormonal imbalance, but as far as I know, it occurs during um, your age from 11 to 30 years old and probably um, caused by genetics, menstrual cycle, and puberty, and etc. Yun lang yung alam ko, but you can search it on Google and really find out if baka yung acne nyo is really caused by hormonal imbalance kasi mostly yun yung cause nun and nung grade 7 talaga nakikita ako ng face ang yung face ko na madami ng pimples at tumutubo na sila and I don't know how to manage pa noon kasi I don't know, bata pa lang ako and I'm really exploring all the things that I did was self-treatment. I never consulted any doctor or dermatologist pero ginusto ko pero hindi ko nagawa kasi I was really out of my mind. I was lost. 
I was really trying to revive myself from that um, droning na I feel kasi having um, acne is depressing and very um, very destructive in the mind and in the confidence and individual well-being of a person. So yun, lahat na lang na try ko um, yung pinaka matindi talaga is pumunta ako sa sa gapang kilot ay fake um, fake killer quack doctor basta yun yun um, quack doctor and then pinatingnan ko yung face ko and then I even tried um, steaming nilagay ko yung nalagyan ng yung nasa loob ng tsaa I even tried gory soap I tried um Pants. I tried every commercial products that you can imagine na try ko siya but hindi sila nagtagal and hindi din sila nag consistently worked for me in the long run kasi yung iba um, my belief kasi noon is that once mahiyang na yung skin ko sa isang product is hindi na siya mag-work consistently and yun yung yung downside sa skin ko kasi I really have to find out the what's best for my skin and really invest money while exploring. Yun yung mahirap doon kasi gumagastos ka and as a student, mahirap na gumastos ng, ng sayo lang and looking back, if looking back, yung mga nagastos ko malaki-laki rin siya, like sobrang laki. I I did everything I could um, in order to revive my skin and thankfully um, in God's will and in God's um, provision I am now really I think healing and I hope also for those who are suffering and I'm going to reveal the products na nagpalala talaga ng acne ko kasi grade 7, grade 8 manageable pa yung acne ko but then grade 9 Actually, doon na lumala din, doon nagkaroon ng oiliness, like, mahirap na talaga yung condition niya, hindi na siya maganda sa, sa ano, sa panlabas, dumadami na siya. Um, up until grade 10 na maginamit akong product na talagang sumira sa face ko. It was the Fuching Su, yung blue, na nasa tube. Um, it was recommended by my cousin. So, andito siya. Kulay blue siya. And then, the BL cream. Yung color violet ba yun? Kasi ito siya yung L cream na I would really not recommend. If you're using BL cream right now, please stop. Hindi siya makakatulong ever kasi yung, go, yung BL um, cream only triggers your face in the long run. So please, if you're using it right now, stop using it on your face. I believe they are working on some other areas of our skin, but sadly, sa face, don't do it. Kasi dapat, you are knowledgeable and responsible on what you put on your skin. Kasi what you put on your skin would really reflect on the effect that it would do to your face. So always be responsible and knowledgeable to manage your skin and really know and having an acne was indeed um, confidence destructive like I was really devastated about myself um, I remember really crying and not going to school um, nagkukulong lang ako sa kwarto and then there I just find my purpose my words um, am I enough bakit sa akin nangyayay ito mga ganong bagay and it was not actually easy to experience those kasi for a person na suffering it affected my confidence um, I remember um, nasa quarter lang ako ayokong lumabas and fiesta noon pero nasa quarter lang ako kasi I was really shy to go out and really mingle with other people kasi uh, na, Ewan ko, but nandiri ako sa self ko, yung self-confidence ko. Um, 
bumaba and then uh, and then ayoko ng pumunta sa school um, nag absent na ako half day lang ako and then I remember yung panyo hanggang dito kasi yung yung face ko na mamalat kasi kumagamit ako ng kung ano ano and trying things na sana mag work pero in the long run hindi din naman nag work I was really exploring and really hoping that time na bakit ako, bakit sa dami-dami ng tao, bakit ako, I try my best, um, sana hindi ko nalang winish, mga ganong bagay. And I remember my mindset that time is just to really find my words and my purpose to still go on. Um, Bago ako pumunta sa school, titingnan ko yung face ko sa mirror and then I will feel discouraged and then babalik ako sa kwarto and then just put my back and then ayoko na pumunta sa school, like legit. And naapektuhan yung performance ko sa school, how I deal with social life kasi um, for those people who are struggling with acne, you know na yung mga inaasahan mong tao na susuporta sa iyo, your relatives, your 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 classmates, people you um, na hindi mo pa ini-expect na mag the down sa iyo would actually people who would criticize and who would um, tell you otherwise na ganito ka, ganito ka, uh, bakit ganyan yung mukha mo, uh, parang ano din yung mukha mo, parang ganyan. Apakadaming mga down words, mga down phrases na mga judgmental people sa mga people na may acne. That's why I really addressed and really made this video to be able to um, reach out to people who are struggling with acne na hindi madaling magkaroon ng acne. And to tell you having acne is really... It's really hard to face your everyday challenge. I lost my faith. I lost my will. I lost my energy in life. I was drawn. I tried to lahat for my face, but sadly, not all of them work consistently. And it's hard to go out and really um, talk to other people, because. Looking at them, parang just looking at you, they are judging you, and then you better just be in it in the four corners of your room and be yourself in it so that no one could judge and see your face. Ganun kalala. So, this video was actually for people who, who are experiencing acne right now. I made this video wholeheartedly for you. Um, I made this video to share my story that you are not alone, that in this kind of situation you deserve to be applauded and commended because you've been so strong, you've been, you've been just strong enough to go on and then continue fighting your battles, your insecurities in life. And I know the feeling that you're feeling right now, so um, I hope that you keep fighting, I hope that you see the beauty in you that um, it's okay to have those flaws it doesn't make you less it as long as you're contributing and you are really um, making your impact to others turn that flaws into flaws up. go out there and show that beauty that uniqueness in you because you never know who you might inspire just by going out and inspiring others with your beauty with the way you bring yourself be confident it is ultimately still about your attitude how you help and how you manage yourself to bring out there and treat other people right so cheer up and alam ko kaya nyo alam ko kaya natin to so believe now pray to god and really find that product that works for you. The beauty doesn't limit on your on the way you look. I hope that this video um, somehow made you feel confident and made you feel pumped to go on and to continue living life, to 
the fullest and keep grinding, keep hustling. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Period. Thank you so much everyone for watching. So if you're new here, please do like, share, and subscribe. Might as well share this video outside. I'll see you on the next vlog. God bless. I should fuck her in the